Welcome to WWW, where we pit our favorite comic book characters against each other to answer the age-old question, who will win? For 75 years, Batman has been the lone mascot of superheroes without superpowers. Using only his might, training, passion, and money, Bruce Wayne has managed to keep Gotham safe and keep evil at bay. With everything we know about Batman, how does the King of Wakanda even measure up? Well, for starters, let's talk about King T'Challa's wealth as compared to Bruce Wayne's. I'm rich. While Bruce is arguably the richest man in Gotham and its surrounding areas, T'Challa literally owns an entire country and its resources. To add to that, Wakanda is home to one of the rarest and valuable metals on Earth, Vibranium. The entire country of Wakanda is built with Vibranium, which possibly makes it the most expensive and advanced country in comic book existence. Bruce Wayne's money can't afford King T'Challa's lifestyle, which means Black Panther wins this round. What are you talking about? Next up, strength and abilities. This part is a tricky one because both Batman and Black Panther have very similar skill sets. They are both trained in numerous forms of martial arts, in part due to their travels around the world, and it also goes without saying both of them are extremely in shape. Beyond their physical attributes, both Bruce and T'Challa are exceptionally brilliant and possess degrees in many forms of science. With all of that being said, I'll tell you who really takes this round home. It's the Batman. Unlike the Black Panther, Batman doesn't normally rely on strength enhancing herbs or chemicals. He literally fights his greatest foes using only his skills and wit. If you strip T'Challa of his powers and vibranium lace suit, he cannot outmatch nor outwit Bruce. Batman literally relies on his brute strength, athletic prowess, and mind to defeat his enemies every day. The Black Panther won't stand a chance. Sometimes, our superheroes are defined by their enemies, so who has the baddest villains between the two? It's no secret that Batman has numerous well-known rogues in his gallery, so I will play fair and choose one that is Batman's equal. His name is Ra's al Ghul. He is the creator of the League of Assassins and in some comic book incarnation, Bruce Wayne's mentor and father figure. Ra's is skilled in many forms of martial arts due to his long life. By the way, yes, he is immortal because of the Lazarus Pit. Batman has struggled to defeat Roz many times due to the numerous challenges his former mentor has thrown at him. Roz al Ghul's psychological warfare has been the toughest thing Bruce has ever had to overcome. Though falling in love and having a child with Roz's daughter didn't help either. As for Black Panther, his list of worthy villains are just a handful. There is White Wolf, Namor, Man-Ape, Baron Zemo, and Ulysses Claw. However, none of these guys have what it takes to truly shake King T'Challa to his core the way Eric Killmonger can. The thing about Killmonger is that he is a fellow Wakandan to T'Challa. His ideology and point of view causes the king to rethink where he stands and if he's doing the right thing for his people. When it comes to physical might, Black Panther and Killmonger are on the same playing field. However, unlike T'Challa, Killmonger is willing to do the unthinkable to win his battles. So which of our heroes has the baddest villains? The answer is simple. It's Batman. Let's be honest, Ra's al Ghul is far more fearsome than Killmonger, while the latter poses a huge threat to T'Challa and the people of Wakanda, Ra's al Ghul operates in the shadows, ready to assassinate Batman and all he stands for. There you have it guys, Batman wins over Black Panther. I know this video is a bit short and so are the categories I covered. If you want me to do longer videos and more scenarios, please let me know. Remember, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.